How's it going guys? It's Mr. Lone Wolf and uh, today I'm going to go on a attempt this mission, uh, Let There Be Water. So it's a bit longer than usual, <laughs> that's what she said. Um, yeah, I've got to go and get four metal rolls from like the beach area on this first map. Uh, take them over to Antonovsky and then get two cement, which I'll drop the metal rolls off first. So yeah, get them from there, kind of double back on myself basically, cut across there to the uh, the gateway. I would have actually liked, instead of kind of doubling back on myself, I sort of prefer to do a round loop if I could, but there's no good road from there to there, and I'd have liked to have cut across the river and gone that way, but the road sort of forces you to go all the way around here, and then you have to go through the stupid scrapyard where you catch on invisible stuff that you can't, it isn't there to catch on until you catch on it, so you can't really do a lot about it. I've still got a Tatra Force or something stuck on something invisible in the scrapyard that I can't uh, do anything about. So. Uh, yeah, I fancy taking the uh, Phoenix again for this one. I do quite like this vehicle, and as it's Phase 5, I sort of try and get a bit of use out of it, get some uh, videos on the go about it. Got a goddamn horse for me, of course. Uh, I fancy, I just wanted to drop the loaf off where I'm picking the metal rolls up. I haven't got, like, a strategic loaf planted there, so... Uh, yeah, I wanted to take him. Let's even look at him. Colour-coded. He matches. And this trailer as well... To be honest, it, I'm, overall I'm glad I did pick this trailer, because you'll see later on where it comes in handy, but I could have got the two-slot sideboard that I think is lighter. Like, basically, this Phoenix isn't a bad truck on its own, but now I'm pulling this trailer, you can see it's... and But I don't actually think it's this truck. This is what... Part of it, I think, is the whole grip issue, but I actually think they've up the weight or something with these trailers because I, I remember this one was worse than say the two so yeah, two slot sideboard that yeah I mean this one's got double the axles or the rest of it it's better that it's got the twin dolly axles at the front because for whatever reason it, it at least helps it not jackknife as much um, for what it's worth it's got like a longer apparently it's called a tong like that thing that's connecting it from the trailer to my truck so if you have a truck where your sideboard sticks out the back a bit further that'll give you a little bit more clearance um, yeah it's definitely not the loaf packed on the trailer <laughs> take it from someone who's spent way more than most people should um, driving around with a goddamn horse on a trailer on my head in the sideboard towing behind me every possible combination and yeah the loaf like I said he's weightless when he wants to be but yeah, like I'm pretty convinced it's not that, and uh, I did kind of drive around on this trailer a little bit before I got to the garage and put the loaf on, and yeah, I just got a feeling, whether it's accidental or not, I don't know, it could just be something slightly broke that they're going to fix, or it could be, again, their, you know, another way to, I say, balance, like, more sort of nerf things, and uh, you can sort of see now I'm going with the current, which will be a little bit more important sort of later on will make more sense and I'm still kind of stuck now and I mean really it's not it's not like I've got a massive semi trailer full of cargo and all that yet I'm literally I've got two slot trailer an empty truck and uh, yeah and I'm going with the current I'm not particularly that deep in mud or anything and like I said it doesn't feel like this truck it would sort of describe it yeah like you know tractor pulling on TV where there's like a big fat tractor and it pulls that sled that purposely sort of moves and digs into the ground it, it's sort of you know you imagine it like you're pulling something like that where there's just something on this trailer or whether it's the weight or the trailer's digging in way more than it should just sort of feels something like that a, uh, a bit really but just about ticking along got it low range of the diffs on I mean at this point perhaps um, bigger tires would help I'm sure if I remember correctly someone was saying in the comments uh, I think they put 50s on this. I'm not sure if that's from a mod or if they, you know, might have PC and can fill around with the uh, various things themselves. But I'm pretty sure it was this one that someone said they put 50s on and it felt way better. Which I could imagine, like I've said it before, they've kind of balanced this game where sort of over 50 inch tyres is pretty good generally. Under is, yeah, you'd rather not be. Like trucks like the step toe or the well, what's it called the step 310 or whatever um yeah that's got like 46 or something as well um, no might even be 43 sorry and that's one of the main it's not actually a bad truck the step toe thing but it just 
yeah, those tyres do let it down. And you can see now, um, a little bit, a little bit uh, shy on the revs. That's why I was looking in the interior view a minute ago, just trying to look. It doesn't actually. It's hard to know 100% if the rev counter we can see, you know, means anything as far as like the actual mechanics of the vehicle go. I remember ages ago, it was on John that it was just like when I start the review, go through that first mud bit, start going up the hill, and it was there where I was on like, a, you know, a tiny amount of revs, only like 100 or two above tick over. And the game started doing the engine noises like it was revving like crazy. So it was sort of then where I realised, yeah, what your truck's actually doing in that case didn't match what the game sounds were trying to convince me was going on. Because I'll tell you, it definitely wasn't revving uh, high. That's one of the few things that's near enough like the only issue I have with John, the Azov 6 or whatever it is. Um, yeah, they it's too over capped and slow. This thing, on the other hand, is uh, yeah, still it's one of the best high gears in the game as far as how relaxed it is. Like I said, the Voron Grad is uh, a lot like that. There's one or two others, but that's the one that sticks out. That's the one I remember that I first came across that I really liked how the revs. Yeah, just didn't. It felt like they'd forgot to put rev caps on it. So when you go into like low range and that with the Voron Grad, it um. Yeah, just give you plenty of revs. To be honest, actually, that I'll have to try that with this because I remember then trying it in the Voron Grad with the off-road gearbox because I get the three low ranges. Um, yeah, so I, at some point I will stick to this gearbox because the high gear. So I, if I go to the off-road gearbox already, I lose. It might be just as good in off-road, but it's not going to go as fast. So personally, I'd rather keep this one. But still, I would like to try it with the low ranges just to see what's going on with this. Just because it lets you go mad in high gear doesn't necessarily mean that there's going to be no rev caps in the low gears. It could be a completely separate sort of section as far as the game's concerned. So uh, yeah, a little bit of a slow crawl along here. On the way back to be honest, I've edited a few bits out just because one, I'm doubling back on myself and two, yeah, you can see the video, I've made it under 40 minutes, uh, like I said, a bit longer. <laughs> so, well, I, don't, I say that, like, it's, I don't know, 40 minute mission, fine by me. To be honest, as you'll see, uh, I that's why this video will end up getting uploaded pretty late. I just couldn't help myself. I kept having a little bit of loaf time and a little bit more and a little bit more. <laughs> and then, that's it. I spent my night messing around in a loaf. Absolutely no regrets. Got him here now. And yeah, this was obviously, I need the room for the uh, metal rolls anyway, but strictly speaking, if I really wanted, I could have just towed him behind me all the way back, but I just wanted to sit one here. There you go, <laughs> enjoying the view. Sitting on the docks. Sitting on the dock of the bay, thinks he's Otis Redden. See there, like, the trailer's a bit of a can be like when you reverse they always are but the fact that that's sort of lifted up and scooted over rather than just tip I think those double axles sort of help a little bit quick edit there as well a little bit of a like five point turn trying to get out of there but eventually I'll be able to just sort of ram it on that loading bay and scrape my way out of there and for the most part you can see now sort of driving even that's auto I, again I actually think the auto is quite nicely balanced on this and everything. I actually think this is decent enough with the revs in auto. So when you go into the low ranges it just feels a little bit harsh. And yeah, a couple of bits like this though where, again, there's going to be a couple of edits but sticking a winch out. I don't mind sticking a winch out but as you can see it's not inconveniencing me at all. I just, I get stuck. I look for a winch point and then I pull myself forward and I assume that's what we all do. But yeah, it's just like at some point I would like a truck that can actually drive through that terrain with the trailer. Because then if I want to get stuck, I'll go and bring another truck. But yeah, it would be nice at some point. I get the whole balance and thing and all the rest of it, but sort of like I've spent my money, so don't worry about it. Offer me a truck that can handle the terrain you offer me and then leave me to decide if I want that or not. Because yeah, I mean, it's like in a lot of videos, I don't always drive the Zix and everything. I like those trucks. That's the thing. It's like I'm not going to go and drive a truck that 
just sort of annoys me after a while, well not even after a while, some of them. But it definitely, uh, when I drove on phase four the other night, near the end of the live stream, yeah, both trucks felt way better. Just, they felt more natural, like they belonged on those maps and they made sense, they felt realistic when they were getting stuck, when they weren't, when they were slowing down, etc, etc, and it's like, yeah, but I don't think on this map, well, like I say, I don't know, they've done something, there's like, there's less grip, something going on, but I also think the trailers aren't helping, but I think that is sort of a separate thing, it probably helps highlight just how quick it can let the grip go. As you can see now, for example, I'm loaded up with metal beams. They're pretty heavy in the scheme of the cargo that you can get. And it doesn't even seem like to be affecting the truck any different to when I drove here with an empty truck. Again, I know I have the loaf, but I don't know. I, I, yeah, I've been driving the loaf around everywhere for the last year and a half and it's not been an issue like it is on this map. So now a little bit of a slow crawl back going against the current now, which... I honestly like driving across rivers. If you've seen, uh, what was it, flooded foothills? I could have built a bridge near the garage for months. Or probably not months, actually, it was a bit extreme. Um, I left it a bloody while, I remember that, because I just I liked cutting across the river instead. So uh, I enjoy that, but I do, they could do with toning the current strength down a bit, as in, if you're doing anything other than going with the current, it can absolutely, like, doesn't really matter if it's a bit of a weaker truck or the biggest truck in the game, it can just... It's like, rather than the current being a separate thing and your truck being a separate thing, they just... It's like they factor it all in and it just cancels your vehicle out. It doesn't matter which one you've got, what setup you've got, what gearbox. You just don't like it. But still, I do prefer like the look of this map and all the rest of it. I like the brighter... I don't know. Yeah, just a brighter map. Still, like even now, just ticking along slowly. It's quite a nice view. <laughs> See the river flowing by, and yeah, it's not bad. Makes it a bit better, anyway. Which, who knows, by the end of this... Well, in theory, I could be looking forward to a snowy map again, but they'll kill it <laughs> with death snow and stuff, so... We'll see. I'm going to just drop the hammer a little bit now. Yeah, stick in high gear and we're away. Well, for a little bit. Managed to crawl along that bank, hit some of the mud though, and it just, no. It's not liking it. There, apologies. There's a few little, that wasn't an edit, that was. Um, a few little, just tiny glitches, quite a lot tonight. Not loads, but it always seems to be in the one bit. It would have been nice if it didn't. So cutting across here, I still like to go sort of diagonal over here. You can see where one of my loafs is like in the mud over there. Um, I just don't like going that other way because it basically forces you to roll your truck near enough every time or at least the trailer even if your truck's pretty bloody good at not tipping. Going this way though, I, I'm getting a little bit caught up on this section so... This is the sort of thing though, if you use mods and that and you're doing that on your playthrough. Uh, that bridge layer mod be handy for a place like this. Well, plenty of places <laughs> have an entire row of bridges just running along this whole section. It would sort of be nice, I could follow the uh, rail track, but if I'm not mistaken, I think there is stuff kind of piled in the way, so I'm, I'm going to have to go around it regardless. But without a trailer, I honestly think, well, I, have, I don't need to think I've been through here before. Like, this Phoenix does alright going through here. But with this trailer, it's uh, really not not too happy about it. I was just looking as well at those metal roll, this gap between them on the uh, trailer. I'm sure there'll be some, like, invisible hitbox thing going on, but pretty sure I could probably squeeze a loaf in there. <laughs> Give me half an hour. Not even that. I'll get him in. I mean, even now, I was, I was tempted to cut this bit of footage out as well, but it gets to the point where <laughs> it's like, there's no point in doing a snowrunner video if I'm going to cut out everything that gets a bit too snowrunnery. 
and uh, yeah, cutting across here, like obviously I'll leave it in. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. Um, but yeah, you can just hear the revs or lack of rather. See every now and then I keep tapping L1, like just can't help it. Every now and then it does work though. If you tap L1, it doesn't let you get away with it. Oh, it's like you only get one go at it every two minutes, but it's like it dumps the clutch and you get like a little sort of not speed boost but you just get like a little jerk where it bangs the power back in and sort of lurches forward a bit but then if you tap L1 again say before a minute or two I've never actually timed how long it would take but it won't let you do it again five seconds later it just you'll press L1 and it doesn't sound like it does anything but yeah it's a handy little thing if you're ever getting a little bit stuck just dab L1 and you might get the uh, the little sort of clutch lurch and I'm going to cut ahead at this point because it forced me to go this slow <laughs> all the way to that blue uh, way marker thing I've put so anyway finally at the gateway of course never leave home without him stash myself a goddamn professional at the gateway because I know I'll be dropping orange loaf off and what I need to do I should have really stuck a, a fuel trailer on the back of that loaf like this Antonovsky map, it, yeah, you wouldn't go far wrong if you bring a semi-trailer at some point and just drop it somewhere because there's no fuel station on here. I still, I, I do quite like this map. Probably the best one out of the two. That's the route I'm going to take. I end up going a bit of a shorter route. I cut across like a beach section. You'll see when we get there. It's nothing particularly different from the line I drew. It's just a little bit of a shorter, quicker way really that I chance couldn't uh, couldn't help myself went for it and it went pretty well so we've got 55 fuel I had so I thought right obviously I got the loaf for me that's exactly why I stashed a loaf there because I just know <laughs> he's got damn professional he knows what he's doing but yeah as this thing does get a bit of a move on uh, with high gear and everything I can make pretty good use of that 55 litres like you imagine now well John is a very slow truck but yeah, anything that's slow, I can't can't physically cover distance before that fuel's going to tick down. Because it's saying whatever it is a minute, look at it as like the more distance you can cover in one minute, obviously is the better use of that fuel you're getting. And that, again, comes back to like, do I choose the high range over the off-road gearbox? Well, there's going to be exceptions, but generally speaking... I don't know, if I had an identical, like, two of these, one with an off-road, one with a high range, I bet I'll get further in the high range before I run out of fuel. Which is sort of what I've always found with Dolphin as well. It runs out of fuel quick, but you'll be two and a half maps over quick. To be fair, this truck actually sort of reminds me... It's fairly close to the Dolphin as things I prefer that for without a doubt but there is things this does nice like I said the high gear is one of the best now in the game um, so that beats the Dolphin but uh, they're both pretty hard to tip to its credit this truck ain't easy to tip it's not like a piss taker it sort of actually probably feels closer to how it should in real life where clearly most of the weight's in the chassis and all the rest of it um, yeah Dolphin's got bigger tyres little things like that the front bumper I've got on this as well, I'll, I want to go back and have a look at that because I find this thing that its chin is pretty good clearance. It even cleared that bridge on uh, Chernokomensk on the live stream, like went over the railway bridge and out to jump like the concrete blocks in the way. And the fact that it's got 46 inch tyres but its bumper still cleared those concrete blocks is good. That shows like the suspension on this sits nice and high. But yeah, those are. Uh, those 15 inch tyres on the Dolphin, <laughs> them extra 4 inches, don't knock them. To get to this point, I actually quite like crossing over here. There's a bridge in the background that I can build at some point, but it's looking like it's going to be one of the last missions I get around to anyway. But again, I kind of, that's I like the challenge, not, well yeah, I like the challenge, but I like driving over mad areas, but I don't necessarily want to be stopped <laughs> every 5 minutes and keep relying on my winch. It's like I just... I enjoy driving over here, but I'm more than happy to drive a truck that just makes it. I was running low on fuel there, so that wasn't this truck's fault particularly. It's just 
I was being stubborn. <laughs> There's no reason to wait that long to put fuel in it. It's just, I was, to be honest, actually, it's not necessarily true. I was trying to see how far across the map I could get on 55 litres. So at this point, that's where I drew the uh, arrows, just following that road up. But I kept eyeballing. You see over like the top of the screen now, I could sort of see the island and bridge where I want to be heading. And yeah, I also, if I remember correctly, there's a, one of the contests on this map. You have to drive essentially where I am now, like do a lap of this lake bit or whatever it is. So I kind of knew driving along the uh, the beach here was theoretically possible. I was just only reason I disconnected the uh, loaf there was in case I need to fire a winch out to one of these trees. But again, this truck's pretty good at not tipping. The trailer's not so sure. It's thinking about it. <laughs> it wants to. Which at some point, when your trailer starts tank slapping like that, you might be better off just dropping the hammer. Sort of sometimes it hasn't got time to tip if you're still pulling it forward too quick for it to, yeah, have time. And as you can see, it ticked along the beach very nicely. It's so I'm glad that's one place you see for this perfect example. That beach, whoever signed off on that saying that's balanced enough, <laughs> like, yeah, they did pretty well on that because I can always bring a you know a, an international trans star there and I'll get stuck all day long so. I've got options <laughs> if if I need to get stuck. I've got that covered. What I need is like when I want to do a 40 minute mission in 30 minutes. And until they give my goddamn horse a proper saddle. How do they not give a horse a saddle? If he had a saddle low or something on his roof. Be a, well he's already been a cargo loaf but now he has to tolerate the stupid trailer legs sticking out. So everything going pretty nice up here. I I didn't know it to happen here, but that is exactly why I got this trailer, because then I can do this. Whereas now I'd be bringing a bloody... Well, I've got a Bruce somewhere on this map, but I'd be bringing a truck, if not, from uh, the garage in factory grounds. And yeah, there you go. Like, those posts sticking up on the side of the trailer just kept those metal beams... I'm going anywhere, uh, flip the trailer and I'm off. And you can see now, the truck itself is driving through this mud. My advice right now, if you're in this situation, disconnect the trailer. I ended up deleting that fuel trailer. It's empty anyway, but the amount of times my winch and kept trying to grab it. I would have disconnected the trailer and just, or I should have, say, drove the Phoenix out and then winched the trailer. This is a goddamn horse fight. Not today, game. <laughs> One more day. Um... Yeah, the reason why, I went to go and tow the Phoenix kind of out, just forwards. And this is what annoyed me, like, with the, it's the stream in the current. It's not got my truck, it's now got my trailer, and it doesn't matter what I do. I'm just, I'm now, like, locked in place, and I can't really do anything about it. Um, but every time I stuck a winch from my loaf to the truck, the, uh, the current physics would kick in again and start dragging my truck backwards, and then when I disconnected the winch, it sort of physics would lock it in place so at that point I just edited it 10 seconds ago or whatever but I kind of saved the footage I messed around there for five or ten minutes just I disconnected the trailer to see what the current would do how fast it'd take it away so I just edited a lot of that out because yeah otherwise the video would be more like 50 55 minutes not just this edit but the others as well so uh, yeah other than that that's all I did in the end there was some tree or whatever, something in the uh, water that I seen sort of a little bit earlier. So once I was finished, just kind of watching what the truck and trailer would do, trying a few different things out, I sort of got back to the mission, uh, stuck a, well, reversed down the current, so there's that, um, and then yeah, stuck a winch to like that tree, I pulled my nose round, grabbed the, uh, the rest of the fuel off the goddamn horse. Well, when I drove into here, that loaf had one fuel, so then when my truck got stuck, I transferred a bit to the loaf, sent him off but yeah it was looking like what I didn't want to risk was tipping this phoenix the cargo flies out now I've got to bring a bloody crane to fish him out of the water and all sorts so it just wasn't worth the hassle um you can see now getting a like not impatient it's not like when I say if I ever said sight the game's annoying me it's not we get I'll turn the game off well before I'm literally annoyed but in game world <laughs> terms it's like all right I'm getting a bit impatient now and I just want to drop the hammer and get on with the mission like it wasted too much needless time yeah with that sort of stuff so I crashed into the bridge and <laughs> tried to take the corner in one kind of stuck to the bridge 
Now I get hooked. I'm not really sure what. I tried to put a winch to something in front of me. There wasn't anything there, but then as I was looking now, I was thinking, hang on a minute, what is the trailer stuck on? And then now it drives forward just fine, so God knows. It found something. The hitboxes are not the most accurate in this game, to be fair. I hit a like the corner of a house earlier, but yeah, I was a good half a foot or a foot off and I still caught it. Uh, apologies, I think that was like a little glitch there, not an edit. I just went around the corner and that's it. This a little bit boggy, but I probably should have skirted down the, uh, the right-hand side there a little more. Uh, overall, not too bad. Once you can get into the high, again, it helps, but... <laughs> Excuse me, trailer. And I'm not going to lie, I'm partial to ramming a good old trailer out of the way, but... If the game didn't waste my time in that little river section... Like, I don't know, I'm aware in real life if I smashed into that trailer that I'd smash the front end of my <laughs> truck up as well, but yeah. Which, in theory, I then don't mind, say, trying to do it all properly and move the trailer out of the way, but yeah, by then, <laughs> it's like, move, I'm on the way. Got some metal rolls to deliver. Um, yeah, so it's to this bit, so it's that, like, collapsed, I don't know, red thing. Uh, you've probably seen if you've been around and scouted the map or whatever. I thought it tried to scan me out of the last metal roll then, but thankfully it did accept it all and everything. So that's four of them done, and now I need two lots of cement. I was looking around, wasn't really happy with the uh, the lack of loafs in view. So time to get myself a goddamn horse. See, look, he's got, what, like, was it 16 or 18, 19 litres? <laughs> I'll get him, like, three laps of the map. Then look, <laughs> see him just wiggle back. Told you. You don't start, you ain't turning the key hard enough. And we're off again. And that's one of many reasons why you get so loaf, because... I don't know. A lot of these maps can stop a lot of trucks. But... I've yet to find a map, or a truck, <laughs> that can stop a goddamn horse or a vehicle. It just keeps going. Like the Energizer Bunny, or whatever it is. At this point, though, my cat kept turning up, so that's why I got, like... I just kept randomly stopping. He picks his moment, waits till I'm in a loaf, and then he uh, makes his appearance. So I had to leave this little bit in though. Flung a winch out, because of course he's got the length. He's a goddamn horse for a reason. Um, grab that tree. I was just thinking to myself now, oh, like, it looks like one of them trees that pop out of the ground. So I did my horn and it didn't break. <laughs> I was like, oh, is that right? <laughs> did my horn again and it break, but then, bump, like, popped itself back in. Oh, that was me looking back, like, really? <laughs> and now I was like, nope. Some stupid game only matters between me, that tree, and this loaf. But I won. Because <laughs> my loaf. Goddamn professional at firing winches out like Spider Man. Hit that tree first time, ripped it out of the ground. <laughs> uh, yeah, looked at the river, I was like, well, sod that, because. Again, it's not the river, it's the current. Flying along the bridge, having a good old time. And then, yeah, met up. Doubled me, uh, me loaf roof rack forces. I just left this bit in there because I wanted to show you. Driving them in pairs. Little orange loaf kind of falls in a hole. Green loaf. Loaf boost. Nudges them out of there. And then the orange one can now pull the green one out. Like When you've got a pair of these, you, you physically pretty much can't get stuck. So like put an advanced winch on one and an autonomous on the other. And you will just never... You can't because even if they both tip, one of them's going to rescue itself and so on. Uh, yeah. Got a few more loafs there. Borrowed a bit of fuel off them. And now I was just kind of umming and ahhing which way to go around. See, this is like, this is... I checked Bruce. There's my crane vehicle that I would have had to go to the river with if those cargo fell out. <laughs> Goddamn horse in the background, check him out. Oh, already nailed his fuel. <laughs> like, shouting distance away. Another one. Oh yes, Goddamn OG loaf. It's the one that started it all. <laughs> A little bit up the map again, but there's another one. Oh, he's got fuel. Like, hang on. What do I spy? Another loaf. Oh, he's got, he's got the goods as well. He's not been pinned by the Antarctic. He's just in a better position to shout at moles, call them arseholes. And I was like, hang on. Looks like a Duke of Hazards jump. <laughs> Move out of the way, Antarctic. I'm off. So, yeah, that's why this video. It's probably a little bit later than normal because I kind of got a little bit carried away with loaf time. See, prancing horse Ferrari badge now. <laughs> there is nothing you can't do. 
I would gladly unedit this, but I know. I only give myself like a certain amount of load time. Probably went a bit far. Oh, reminds me. You could beat me wood later. <laughs> Joke's on you, Sawmill. I mean, that wood are best friends. Do that to each other all the time. And he's off. See, I need another fat, juicy horse with a full roof rack, so let's go and get him. I mean, look at him go. Just can't go wrong. And because I've just generally scatter them all over the place. It's extremely likely if I need some more fuel repairs or a goddamn horse, there is one, <laughs> at least one nearby. So, those two loads are going to keep an eye on that red thing. So I've tried to let the tree know. Give it a chance. See, it's bits like this. The, I did this mission... I can't remember if it was on a live... I think it was on a live stream, actually. Look at it, this river is just overdone. And I mean, when I drove through here the other day, what was I? I think I was in the Voron Grad. I'm pretty sure I went through here, or there was a dolphin going on somewhere. Probably a phoenix, maybe a Tatra Force. Obviously, Bruce is there. But that horse just flies across there because he's a professional. The one. Get me to that shore. See, something as simple as that. A little boost. Could have got out without him, but that's what friends are for. Could go drink in a pub on your own, but better with a mate. <laughs> it never really used to do that with trees. I did a bit, but not to the level it does seem to on this map. There's a lot of things that like to hook your vehicle on this map where at that point you just, I don't know, sort of maybe best off reversing and having another go because once stuff is hooked, it's a bit like those hummers that are stuck in the cliffs on White Valley for me. Um, yeah, they are just a video a while ago where I drove off the cliff with a twin steer and attached a winch mid-air with full weight of a high-speed twin steer and it just, you know, instantly stopped my twin steer dead in the air. Like, when something's hooked on this game, there is not a lot you can do. Well, sending a low, I mean, the, uh, what's it called? Flooded Foothills map. I think we, uh, showed that big trailer that got stuck in the bridge. Showed him, uh, yeah. A little oaf in handle. So, go to here, get some cement, <laughs> of course. Got a goddamn professional waiting, get a few cement. I think I accidentally stuck one on the loading bay. So, switch to the loaf, but I've got another one stashed. There he is, blends in. Like I always say, if you can stick your loaf in a bush, you should at least think about it. He's off. The green loaf, well, I've already used his uh, roof rack fuel. But he's also got a full tank, I'll sit him there, but yeah. It's this one I wanted. He's got the goods. Which I won't necessarily need, but... I just emptied those other two loafs at where I'm travelling back to now, so now I've got fuel for my Phoenix, those loafs, whatever I like. Again, at some point, I really... I am just going to have to do it as a separate mess around thing. I'll probably just get a semi-trailer fuel thing or something. I need to bring a couple of uh, different sort of supply points over here. Just, yeah, stash a tray. I mean that yard I just went to for cement it appears uh, it quite likes you going that way so if I put a fuel trailer there that'll be a start put one in the middle of the map, just a few things then again when I've got a loaf I can run that to the fuel truck fill up my loaf and its roof racks head back all sorts so opens up a lot of possibilities <laughs> just blew someone's toilet up in the garden And yeah, again, if you can get it in high, it's a, it's a nice nice drive for the most part. And again, even this section of the map feels nice, like balanced and all the rest of it. It's not too ruthless. It's this bit. I, I could have gone round, like, when I drove here and I got stuck in that river bit, I could have gone back that way, just cut over the bridge, and gone the longer way round to get the cement, and then gone the longer way back again. But as I'd already sort of gone that way earlier in the video, like... I already kind of knew I didn't like this area, but 
as I'm making a video, it's like, well, let's send it across there again and, you know, we'll see. If it's terrible, I can say to you guys it's just a terribly balanced area. Or it might go well. Um, this one I'll blame myself because, yeah, just fair enough, I crashed into that rock. So, uh, yeah, just drive to the left. And then now, and this is what I was saying, where I want to double check the bumpers I've got on this. I don't know. It might still be the best one, but you can see it hooks. It should scoot up easy there. And I can kind of show better that it's hooked, because when I stick a winch to that tree, I'm not ripping the tree out. So that's full winch power and full acceleration forward. And yeah, I'm just hooked. There's no amount of pulling or whatever that seems to unhook this thing. So, um, yeah, reverse, stuck a winch on Bruce just because I wanted to, I don't know, increase sort of the turning circle, get that nose swung round without having to reverse too far. The loaf's goddamn beast, you just reverse into him. <laughs> he moves backwards, didn't even need a winch on him to get him to do that. I'm getting a bit close on the fuel now. So we'll see. I'd like to, again, push me luck, see if I can make it. But I've got options just in case. I mean, that's all I don't want to resort to, is like, I have to recover to the garage or something. Not that I care if and when I do, and I do loads of times when I just can't be arsed doing something else, but... Yeah. If I, if there's a way, and there is, it's called a loaf. See now. I'm in low range, yeah, if there's a few more revs, it'd help. But at least at this point, there doesn't appear to be any current going either way that's really bothering or, yeah, making just me get locked in place. And, uh, yeah. That's about it. Going to rebuild, I don't know, this water tower thing. Yeah, let there be water. Done. Of course, yeah. <laughs> I tell a little drive around with me life, so. We'll edit that out. Don't even know if this is going to be the thumbnail. It might be. I mean, let's be honest, it deserves to be. Um, yeah, so drop two cement off. If and when. Not sure exactly what I'm up to there. And that's it. Tower done. Didn't do any animation or whatever. It just kind of instantly popped up. <laughs> that's definitely what she said. And yeah, that's it. Like, mission in the bag, I think. And yeah, yeah it's like six and a half grand. It's not terrible. At least it's enough to buy a trailer or whatever. If you factor it in for how long the mission is, blah, 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 it's probably not great money. But when you get two and a half grand, it's like, Christ, now I can't even try on a new tow bar without spending all my dough. But yeah, apart from that, it's a pretty good mission. Not really the truck or the mission that bothered me. It was just a few little separate sort of map balancing. But yeah, that's about it for today, though. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Get yourself a loaf because this is a goddamn beast. And I'll be back soon.